another week. What's that mean? It's time for Weekend Bets with my man Brad Thomas from NBC Sports Edge. I'm Steve Lacar from NBC Sports NASCAR covered. Brad, you, you floored me last week. <laughs> two for two. I mean, that's how you come out the box. If you're going to give some info, give it two good winners. That's a great week one. Yeah, absolutely. Actually, surprisingly, I had two sweeps in two days on articles last week, which is you know, a dump dump bounded. So let's keep up that action. You know, I'm so stoked. All right, so listen, I'm not gonna lie. I love betting sports, but I tiptoe into soccer. It scares me a little bit. I don't know much <laughs> about it. I know it's a big weekend. Premier League kicks off this weekend on NBC Sports. What are you looking at? Is there a game, a matchup? What's the best bet when it comes to some soccer action? Yeah, so my first one is a parlay. Everyone loves parlays. I normally don't go more than two legs, but I got a couple legs today. This first one is a two-leg parlay. Tottenham's taking on Southampton. I'm backing their team total over one and a half goals. They're playing against a Southampton team who's not all that good defensively. This is a Tottenham team who has very lofty expectations. The other side of that parlay, Liverpool money line. And they're playing against Fulham. Liverpool want to win the EPL. They know that they have to beat the bottom dwellers. This parlay, it rounds out to be about minus 123. I think that's great value for two legs that should pretty much hit with ease. I'm going to tell you, you're going to learn from me when we get later in the football season. I love a three-leg parlay with a delayed third leg. That way I can hedge some off. Yes. A pretty good winner. So, all right, like I said, it's a big kickoff. Uh, soccer weekend. I'd give you some NASCAR action, but I'll be honest. I looked all the way through it. The books are tight this week. Every odd I like, I don't see any obvious picks. So I'm going to jump on the uh, the soccer train with you. So I've got my pen out. I got my first parlay down. What else should I be betting? All right. These are two separate DGEN plays. I told you before, I love corners. It's in the Fulham Liverpool game. I'm backing Liverpool team total over six and a half corners, minus 150. Liverpool has hit this in back-to-back -back games against Fulham. Liverpool, despite being on the road, are still clearing seven corners per game. Now, I don't care if they play Firmino. I don't care if they play Darwin Nunez up front. There's going to be a lot of balls sent across. That's just giving more deflections and more corners. And the second one, this is basically on a play that Fulham are going to get their behinds kicked. Fulham team total over three and a half corners. I think that Liverpool is going to be up two at half, and Fulham are just going to have to push the game and chase the game, giving a lot of deflections. Really D-Gen stuff, but I like playing them separate. If you want to play the total, that's cool, but I'm playing them separate. All right, now listen, I love a good degenerate bet. When you start yes. talking about corner kicks and soccer, you have my interest. So I got one for you. If you want okay. to flip over to the degenerate American football side, I know we just got the Hall of Fame game underway last week. Speaking of which, ching, one over. First game, one over. Let's go. I will tell you this, though. The player props are posted on points that every team basically has a quarterback, total yards for the year, maybe a running back. If they have a star wide receiver, they're on there. I haven't done all my homework yet, so I don't have the magic pick, but I have one that jumps right at me. That is Christian McCaffrey, Carolina Panthers, 930 yards. It's really simple, Brad. We're betting on his injuries. Okay. If he plays every game, he's probably going to go not north of 930. But if he plays every game, it'll be the biggest eclipse ever in Charlotte. The guy <laughs> cannot stay healthy. I love the guy. He's great for the community. He's a great person around Charlotte, but he can't stay healthy. I am hammering the under. Nice long season play. And I'm digging into the points bet website because I'm telling you, there is a lot more degenerate action. I really believe just bet a unit on the end on every quarterback. Heck, half of them won't be starting okay. by week 10. Welcome to the NFL. <laughs> hey, I love that. Listen, I have a D-Gen parlay. It's plus 580. Hear me out. This is opening weekend. Goal scorer, soccer, props. First one, Neymar to score against Clay Marfoot. Neymar's had a brilliant preseason. Erling Holland to score. Erling Holland is the darling from Borussia Dortmund coming over. I think he gets serviced a lot in this game. And the last one, son of Tottenham Hen to score. This is your co-golden boot winner. All three of them to score, plus 580. It's beautiful. I think we're going to win a ton of cash. Nothing likes the three-way multiplier, man. It makes yes. every simple bet look like the prettiest girl you've <laughs> ever dated. I love it. It's spectacular, Brad. As always, it's a great time. You have big shoes to fill after last week. <laughs> We're going to see how you hit this week. Most importantly, guys, good luck on all your weekend bets.